The Freedair Saga is a class three e-bike, which means it'll do up to 28 miles an hour via the thumb throttle here on your right hand side, the three levels of pedal assist, and your torque sensor. Now this bike weighs 75 pounds, but it has a payload capacity of 330 pounds. It only comes in a step over model, which is good for riders that are 5'6 six to 6'5. Six it also comes in two colors. You can get it in a black, or you can get it in this silver version that I have here. Freedair also says that the Saga will do up to 90 miles per battery charge. Well, this bike uses a Bafang 48 volt, 750 watt geared hub motor with a peak power of 1000 watts. It also has 80 newton meters of torque. It has a seven speed Shimano transmission along with a turny derailleur, a derailleur guard, and the Shimano seven speed thumb shifter. For stopping power, it uses a Tektro two piston hydraulic brake system. It also has Tektro 180 millimeter rotors on the front and rear. It has a spring front fork. Now it can be adjusted, it can also be locked out, and it has 120 millimeters of travel. It comes with Kenda 26 by 4 inch puncture resistant tires with an aggressive mountain bike tread. The battery is a 48 volt 20 amp hours with 960 watt hours of power with it. It is UL certified. As a matter of fact, this bike holds two UL certifications, one for the battery and one for the electronic system within the bike. Now charging it up, it's pretty easy. It does have a three amp charger, which means you're gonna go from zero to 100% within six to seven hours. You can go ahead and charge it while it's in the bike, or you can take it out and charge it indoors. If you decide to charge it in the bike, right here is your charging port. You just plug it in right there and you don't have to take it out. But if you wanna charge this battery indoors, well, it does come with two sets of keys. Right now it is locked. You're gonna put your key in there. You're gonna unlock it and then there is a button right here. You're gonna push it and the battery comes right on out. Additional features include metal pedals. You have a quick release seat post, a Cell Royale seat. We're gonna try that out and see how comfortable that is going to be. And it is possible to get fenders and racks for this bike at an additional cost. Cockpit operations. On your left hand side, you have a double locking grip. The uh, rubber, it's like a medium hard, but more towards the hard side. It's the, it's the kind that I like, and it has a palm rest. You have your front brake lever right here, and then right here is your control pad. To turn the bike on, we're just gonna hold this button down right here, and it brings up your beautiful color display. Now, when looking at the display, you can see where it has the battery percentage right here, and then this also shows, I think that's the RPMs maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. And then this is your miles per hour. This is your overall trip in miles. This is your pedal assist level. And this is your, your overall, and, and this is your overall odometer. Now by hitting this I button right here, well, you can change those settings. Now it shows what our max speed was, average speed, time on the bike, and then it goes back to odometer. If you want to adjust your pedal assist levels, well, you have your plus and minus buttons right here. You're gonna plus those up all the way to level three, and then you can take it all the way down to zero. Now, if you are in zero and you hold this minus button, this bike will turn on its walk feature and start going forward. So we don't wanna do that right now, but now you know that that works. This headlight has two bulbs instead of the standard one, ensuring that you get more light at night when you need it. It does not come with an integrated tail or brake light, but it does come with this battery powered one and the switch goes right under here. You click it on and now your tail light is on. On your right hand side, well, you have another grip of course, but here is your rear brake lever. This is your throttle. That's what you're gonna use to go forward without pedaling. And then this is your gear lever where if you just use your thumb, you can push it down. Now we're into gear four and then by hitting this button right here, it brings it up a gear every time you push it. The bike also comes with a bell. 